Hello everybody, it's Techno here, and today I'm going to show you the location of each and every plate of Arceus spread across the Sinnoh region in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Now as you may know, in Generation 4, there were only 16 plates at the time, each of which were associated with a specific type, and of course, they were located in a pretty fitting location. If a plate is held by Arceus, its typing will change to that of the plate, but other Pokemon can benefit from these plates as too, as it boosts the power of moves of the corresponding type. Either way, we're going to sweep across the Sinnoh region starting from the west side in Kanalev City. So we can start off by flying over to the Pokemon Center here and crossing the bridge to the left side of the city. Going all the way down, you'll find a small dock over here with Sailor Eldritch on there. If you talk to him, he can take you over to Iron Island for free. After the cute little cutscene and you arrive on the island, you can make your way up the large set of stairs inside the cave and at the first fork in the road, make a right over here. In this room, I can't really describe quite well what I'm going to be doing, so just follow my lead. It is uh, very difficult to lose yourself though because it's a very simple room. You'll find your way over to this lift that'll take you deeper into the cave. At this next fork in the road, you can go left over here um, and this will take you into the room where the plate is located. You can go straight down from the staircase through these uh, fighters over here and up the small set of stairs and down the small, small set of stairs to find the iron plate. The Iron Plate on Iron Island, that's fitting. Our next one is going to be the Splash Plate. You can get it by flying over to Sand Gem Town and from the Pokemon Center make your way down into Route 219 and eventually Surf, which will lead you to Route 220 if you cross this little, uh, little small island with the kids running around on it. And uh, you'll find these swimmers. Just south of the swimmers, you'll find Shallow Water and the Splash Plate sitting here. Hey, guess what? Splash Plate, and it's in a watery place. Wow fitting again. It's almost like this is intentional. The third plate we have is going to be the Earth Plate, which you can get by flying over to Orberg City and from the Pokemon Center making your way to the left all the way to the Orberg Gate. Once you enter the Orberg Gate, you uh, just go about halfway. You can go up and you're going to need the help of a Rock Smash and eventually Surf and Strength to do this. So Rock Smash to the Rock. Go deeper into the cave over here and you go south until you find the Body of Water. When you find that, Surf. And go all the way to left don't stop just keep going left don't stop get it get it go down go down the staircase and eventually strength this boulder over a couple times you'll find the earth plate here earth plate it's in a cave okay uh, sure that works for me the next plate we have is going to be the draco plate which we can get by flying over to eterna city now the draco plate could um technically work being placed in spear pillar but this works too you can get it just behind the dragon statue get it dragon Draco. Okay. The next two plates we're going to get together in one go, and it's actually right here in Eterna City as well, so you don't even have to fly. From the Pokemon Center, make your way to the left into the Eterna Forest. The first plate we're going to get is the Insect Plate. You can get it by walking into the Eterna Forest, cutting through this tree by the old chateau. And to the right of the building, you can find hidden in the wall the Insect Plate. Makes sense, you know, the Eterna Forest is a, uh, it's bug ridden in here many different types of bug Pokemon, so that works. Then you can go inside the old chateau itself and go upstairs into the hallway on the far left room over here. You'll find the Dread Plate, which is for Dark type. Eh, that one's kind of a stretch, right? It's more fitting for Ghost. You know, there's a couple places that Ghost can fit here, but whatever, we'll take it. From there, we're going to fly up to Snow Point City. This is going to be the Icicle Plate, which is already an uh, obvious fit, right? Icicle Plates and Snow Point City, whatever. Exit the city, go the way to the left through the Akity Lakefront, and eventually you can make your way all the way down into Route 217, where you'll see the heavy blizzard kick in. Ooh, it's cold, boy, it's cold. From this uh, karate guy, you can keep going south over here and you'll find this skiing girl. If you just go south from that, you'll find this house in here. Now, during your story, you picked up the TM for rock climb, I'm assuming, right? Because that's the only way to beat the game. And if you did, you can come over here to this guy, and if you have it, then, you know, he will give you the icicle plate in return. Either way, it's very easy. So from there, we're gonna fly back down to Orbrook City. Oh, I should have done this one earlier. This one is the stone plate. This one's fitting, very fitting in my opinion. Um, you can go to the right. This one is hefty, though, because we're going into Mount Coronet, you know, the biggest mountain in all of Pokemon history. It would make sense that the stone plate would be there, right? So from the inside of this entrance, we can cross this small body of water and go over here to this skinny 
little ledge. Don't fall over the ledge and rock climb over to go upstairs into the second floor. Once you're on the second floor, um, you can kind of do this like loop-de-loo. This, this whole room is a big old loop-de-loo. Loop-de-loo down, loop-de-loo over here, across the bridge, under the bridge. Spray a rappel or two, don't forget to. Cross the bridge, loop-de-loo, go underneath the bridge, blah, 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 blah. And this room over here, this door that I'm about to pass through, it's blocked if you haven't beaten the Team Galactic's, you know, shabacle in Veilstone City after, you know, seven badges. Anyways, we're going to go in here and you're going to find yourself at the exit. This is called the Mount Coronet Peak, where the snow is. So follow the only direction you can go here. You'll find this place where you can rock climb. And at this fork in the road, you can go to the right. Inside this door, you're almost there. You can make your way over to the left and at this body of the water surf. Go ahead and waterfall up. Yes, it's using every single HM you possibly have. And once you get to the top, you'll find this very very small room that has a stone plate in platinum it has both the uh lustrous orb and the adamant orb but in brilliant diamond shiny pearl and regular diamond and pearl it only has the stone plate for the metal plate this one's kind of lame honestly uh you can fly over to celestic town and make your way over to route 210 do some zigzags across bridges and whatnot after you defog the place out and by the running circular couple over here i remember these two very clearly they have a right shoe and a gyarados they give off a lot of xp and they're really hard to beat anyways from those two go ahead and waterfall and just on the first waterfall if you do that uh, under this bridge, like hidden in the side of the mountain, is the metal plate. That doesn't really fit, in my opinion. I think that could be somewhere better. Uh, speaking of somewhere better, the spooky plate, this doesn't fit either. You can fly over to Heart Home City and make your way to the Amity Square from the right entrance on the east side. And you're going to need a what's considered a cute Pokemon to pass through here. Uh, that could be any one of the starters and Pikachu and I think Weasel and Drifloon, uh, whatever. There's a few of them. Um, and you can get the spooky plate from on the far right. So if you have your starter, you can you can enter there. The next one we're gonna get is the mind plate. This is a cool one. I like this one. Um, from the Pokemon Center here in Salacion Town, you can make your way all the way up to the upper right hand, hop over the third set of ledges into the Salacion Ruins. And the Salacion Ruins is kind of a labyrinth, and you can follow the path by going to the stairs in the top right, then the stairs in the lower left, then the stairs in the top right, like that. Then we're going to go in the upper left, and then we're going to go in the lower, oh sorry, upper left again, then we're going in the lower left. This is going to be the final room here in the Salacion Ruins, and you can find the mine plate down here. It is fitting because this place is full of unknown and it's kind of mystical. I think that's a cool, good one, I, honestly. This one's also kind of lame. Uh, from Salacion Town, you can uh, go from the Pokemon Center up into Route 210 and then uh, to the right into Route 215. And we're going to do a loop-de-loo once again across the bridge and down under the bridge and spray a repel or two. And uh, past the Marathon Runner and past all this mountainous part over here, you'll eventually come across this area just right here where you can see the cuttable tree. This is exactly what we're going to do. We're going to chop it down. And over here by the Fighting Black Belt Trainer, you'll find the fist plate. It's kind of a stretch, right? I don't know where else I would put it, though, so it kind of works. Maybe Veilstone City? Anyways, uh, for the Toxic Plate, you can head over to the Great Marsh located in Pastoria City and go ahead and interact with the thing to go to Area 2. That's Area 2. If you fr hitch a free ride over here, you can make your way to the upper right-hand corner and just by this lady with the parasol, watch this fancy edit. Are you ready for it? Here it comes. Over there, you'll find the Toxic Plate in the tree. Um, and from that point, uh, you know, Great Marsh, kind of poisoning, whatever. Last one, or sorry, not last one. Oh, we're almost there. Three away, I think. The Zap Plate is located in Sunny Shore City. It makes sense. It's an electric uh, gym and got the solar panels and technology and blah, blah, blah. By the Vista Lighthouse, you'll find the Zap Plate in the corner over here. The penultimate plate is going to be the Sky Plate, which you can get by flying over to the northern entrance of the Pokemon League, which is, the, you know, the Pokemon League building itself. Surf down the waterfall and by this statue on the left side over here, you'll be able to find the Sky Plate hidden in the grass. The third, oh sorry, the final um, plate we have is, uh, it's a hike, it's a hike, so get your boots ready. We're going to go through Route 228, 229, 220. 
uh, six and seven and Stark Mountain. I said 229 reversed. But we're going to go up from the resort area through to room 29 into route 228 where you see the sandstorm kick in. Keep going all the way up, squeezing between these mountains and getting sand in your shoes. And go all the way up to the top and on the left you'll pass through this patch of grass and eventually you'll find yourself at this gate over here. You're halfway there, kind of. Uh, pass through the gate into route 226 which you can go up into route 227. This is one of my least favorite paths to take in the Sinnoh games. I hate coming to Stark Mountain just because there's no fly point. They should have put a Pokemon Center in front of it. That way, once you get up there for the first time, you can just fly up there. Either way, you need the mock bike to uh, hop over those ledges. If you have it in acro mode, you won't be able to hop over the full distance. Then you hop on your bike to cross this beam, and we're going to do, what do you know, a loop-de-loo. -loop. loop around, just like that, an upside-down U-shape, and come up this final set of stairs that leads you into Stark Mountain's entrance, and then you can go inside to the main room, or sorry, the first room here. I think this technically room, this room is technically called the entrance. Either way, rock smash, then strength this boulder down the staircase. Push it, roll it down, roll it, roll it, roll it. Over here, we're going to strength one of the boulders up uh, to the right, then the bottom one to the right, and then the middle one up or down, and then we're going to go around. And this strength boulder is really uh, serves no purpose because there's no way to mess up that puzzle. It doesn't really doesn't need to exist. Same for this rock smash doesn't need to exist we already clearly have rock smash because there's one block in this whole room so why is it there i don't know this strength boulder you can uh, you can technically push it too far if you wanted that item but if you're going for the flame plate then you don't care you just push it as far as you want in this long stretch come over here make a left at the fork go down this large stairs go up this large stairs and make a left over here and at the very end hidden in the wall is the flame plate so the pixie plate is not findable on the ground because BDSP is extremely faithful to Diamond and Pearl for some reason, but you can find the plates in the Sinnoh Grand Underground. My personal favorite digging spot is over here near Romanus Park in Route 221. You don't need to fly here technically. You can dig anywhere in the Sinnoh Grand Underground using the Explorer Kit. Again, this is just my favorite place of digging. And then you can, uh, you know, just like usual, Use the ping icon to determine if there are any diggable spots in the side of the wall just like this. And if there are, you can go ahead and interact with it to find the digging minigame. To which here you can find all uh, 18 stones. Uh, sorry, uh, all 18. Sorry, no, there's only 17 plates because there's no normal plate. Um, and you can even find the pixie plate this way. They're a little bit easier than they were in Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum to find in this game. I don't know why. Um but that is the only other method of finding them you can find them infinitely this way but it is very unreliable because it's the Sinnoh Grand Underground if you've used it before you know how it works anyways that's every method of finding the plates of RKS and Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shiny Pearl I hope you enjoyed the video and as always Technos out